okay welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i transformed this ali grace hair from looking like this i did not like the way this hair looked it just i don't know it just didn't appeal to me so i switched it up and i changed it to this So I had to give myself some sort of ginger even though I've cut hair before I've never cut curly hair before so I went on YouTube and I looked for how to cut a curly wig to be honest none of these videos helped me but I think they just gave me a little push but it didn't exactly help me because at the end of the day you have to customize it to suit you to suit your needs to suit the shape of your face so the first thing I did was I wanted to um, open up the pattern a little bit more so what I was doing here was I was straightening out the hair because I needed to bring it out like as if i'm going to pack it into two ponytails the ponytails yeah ponytails yes or pigtails ponytails <laughs> ponytails i think so when i cut my wig one of my wigs into a bob this was exactly what i did but um for this one i i did the first one well but then the second one i struggled i don't know i can't put rubber band from the front and i would have loved to do it on a mannequin head or on the dummy head but because i wanted to make sure i know how it looks on my face and i wanted to be sure of the length i had to do it on my face but i had to do this multiple times on this side So my initial plan was to cut it in a way that it slightly grazed my shoulder um, and that's what I was trying to look at just to understand what the length was going to be after I cut it and then I just went ahead to cut it. Now the scary part here was when I cut the hair the rubber band cut as well so I think this was a sign that it wasn't straight or it wasn't I don't know it just wasn't leveled at all because first time I cut my bob wig I the rubber band did not cut so i don't understand what happened here and that kind of scared me but then again you can always go back in and you know adjust it i think this is the part where every first time i get scared because at this point you're like did i cut it too short did i cut it too long is it not leveled enough am i still going to be able to work with it because then the second side didn't cut the exact same way with the first one So I was trying to console myself because the hair didn't look good as a center part. So I was just trying to see if I could wear it as a side part. But then one side was straight and then the other side was leveled. Like I was just trying to find a way around this thing. I'm just trying to make sure that I didn't mess it up. Yes, local woman is tired. <laughs> Who sent me? <laughs> So I decided to put it on the dummy head and then you know just try to trim around it and so I just went to the back I like how the back was and um, wasn't leveled exactly you can see that the lower part came down a bit at this point I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be leveled or I still wanted to leave it like I just wasn't sure I was just going in with my scissors when you have a sharp scissors and this hair in front of you and you start cutting sometimes I think you just cut and over cut in other news to you guys look at the body on this hair i'm combing it it's not losing its curls it's so bouncy i really really love the texture of the hair So at this point i was done i just started trying to open up the part a bit so i just tried to pluck some hairs um from the part and then i went in with foundation i didn't bother putting foundation on that so just on the top and then around the lace turned out like at the end of the day it looked like i was going to wear it as a center part but i eventually settled for a side part and i actually love it now the reason why i didn't want to do a side part was because when i, I noticed that when i moved the wig around it needed more cutting so i was scared that it was going to be a little bit too short so that's why i was like you know what let me just settle for a center part and just you know just be done with this wig but the more i kept on turning i was like you know what i think i look finer in side parts unlike center parts and i know i like center parts but they don't look as good as i wish they actually looked on me so i ended up cutting it again so it's way shorter than it 
looked earlier on and i love how this wig came out the major major reason why this wig came out like this is the quality of the hair and the texture the wig is so so fluid like it's like you run your hands through it it just moves in whatever direction you ask it to let's just put it that way let's see if i just roll it in like this it just stays like that can you see that it just is like that and then you can like adjust it there's a way curly hair frames your face that makes it so different from um straight hair with straight hair is that when you cut it you can tell when it's bent you can tell when there's something wrong with curly hair you're seeing you're not sure if it's equal you're not sure if it's a curl you're seeing you're not sure if one coil is longer than the other coil and maybe that's why one side is longer so it was a lot difficult with this one and you know how to go in make a few adjustments and all that and that's how it came out like this it's a frontal hair but because i have the most you know i have all of this hair covering my face there was no need um you know gluing it down so the only thing i did which is something i always also advise you to do even if you wear closures i always forget to mention this but even if you wear closures try and get yourself the um got to be spray and just spray down your closure it makes it look way more natural than you know it would look if you don't do that so with this i just sprayed the front down and you guys can see and another thing is that the lace that this hair came with was um a bit what what will i say is the color now it looked like a light mauve if that makes sense so it wasn't like white white because some of them come with white laces this one was a bit like a, like a light mauve like i said so it was it's easier to blend into your skin once you put a little bit of foundation on it i've had lace that comes as white or yellow light yellow so it tends to show up but with this one the color of this one um it came looking like you it, they had already tried to tint it or something so the hair from ali grace hair and this is their loose wave wig in 18 inches so we asked for a longer length so i would have preferred it to be like 22 inches you know because right now i'm all about you're either very short or you're very long because that's what i've been about recently so the only kind of hair i can wear you know average length or like just grazing my shoulders is kinky curly hair but other than that if i'm wearing any wavy hair it's either going to be extremely long or it's going to be you know really short like 10 inches you know that kind of length so when the 18 inches came because it's curly it was just sitting like a little past my shoulder so i didn't like the way it looked i was like you know what let me just cut this hair and i'm glad i cut the hair because i don't have hair that looks like this the link to the hair will be in the description below and all other details you need will be in the description if i have a discount code i'm also going to include it in the description and i'll leave a pinned comment so you can you know buy if you want to buy i'm just trying something new you know there's nothing you can't do if you just try thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one bye